we continue to look at how to simplify algebraic expressions. So the next problem is three m squared minus two m times two m minus one. There's nothing between the parentheses, so the operation is times multiplication. So to in order to do multiplication,、uh, we have to use the distributive principle. Or you can you also for this one you can also do FOIL.、Um, so to do this. This distrib distributive principle, we're gonna have to distribute both of them to both of them in the second one. Well, we're gonna do one by one. So first, we're going to distribute three m squared. So pretty much, you just forget about negative two m. We're just doing three m squared times two m minus one. So let's put three m squared, three m squared on top of both, so we can multiply them easily. So we get three times two, six m squared times m. It's m to the third, and three times negative one. It's negative three, and m squared would just be m squared. So by the way, when we multiply m squared times m, just re remember the formula is、uh, keep the base m, and there's an invisible one here. Two plus two is two、uh, plus one is three. We are adding the exponents. Now, after we're done distributing three m squared,、uh, next we're gonna、uh, need to multiply negative two m. The minus sign goes with the two here. Times both of them. So let's get rid of three m squared. We're going to multiply two negative two m. This one right here, with both of them. So we do negative two times two, negative four. M times m, m squared, negative two times negative one, positive two, and m. The next thing we want to do is to combine like terms, and because we're doing subtraction and addition, and these two are like terms, they both because they both have m squared. So we have six m cubed. When we combine like terms, we only need to add or subtract numbers in front of them. So、this is like doing negative three plus negative four. That's a negative seven m squared, and plus two copy plus two m. And now we don't have any like terms.、Um, we have to stop here because none of these three can be combined. Now the next problem is two c squared d to the third. Now to do this question, we're gonna have to use the formulas we learned.、Uh, the first formula, which is applied here, we're adding exponents. So let's re review these three formulas. So when we multiply、uh, exponential number numbers、uh, or variables, we're gonna have to add exponents if they have the same base. And another one is if we raise x to the mth and then Raise m to the nth. We're going to multiply them. To tell the difference between the first two is、um, easy way is the tip is if the exponents are right beside each other, one、um, power over another power. That's、um, multiplication. And there's another formula we have is x times y. In the base, so if there's a multiplication in the base, we can distribute the exponent to both of them. But we have to remember it has to be multiplication.、Uh, it can also be division, which will be discussed later,、um, but it cannot be addition or subtraction. Okay, so you notice that、uh, in the base there's multiplication, multiplication. So first、uh, formula we can apply is the third one. So let's mark one, two, three. Because the multiplication in the base, and that means we gotta distribute the exponent three to every factor in the base. Now, if it's multiplication, we can call these each of them a factor. When we distribute the third power, we are gonna get two to the third, and then we have c squared to the third. And then we're gonna raise d to the third. And now we're going to simplify each one. 
two to the third means multiply three copies of two. So two times two times two that gives us、uh, eight. And then we're going to uh work on c squared, and then to the third. And this is the power of power, two powers beside each other case. So we apply second formula, multiply the powers. We get c to the two times three six, and the last one there's nothing to do, just copy it. So that's the final answer. Now in the next problem, we're going to do five a c cubed times four a cubed c squared times negative two c to the fifth. Now. Uh, when we look at the formulas, we can see it's all the the problem has multiplication everywhere. So this is like、uh, doing the first one. First of all, we don't see a power power case. There's not、uh, we did not raise the product to a power, so it's not going to be the third formula. We do have a lot of product. We did not raise any of the product to another power, so it's not the third one. And then we also, again, we also don't have a power, a power case because we don't see any two powers beside each other, and so it's going to be the first formula. But in order to use the first formula, we have to make sure they must have the same base, the same letter in the base. And notice that in the first pair of princes, or the second or the third, they don't they don't have the same base. So which tells us we have to move things around to put the same base together. And of course, the numbers say five, four, and negative two. They can also be multiplied. So we're going to put the numbers together, and then we can put the variables with the same base, so a and a cubed together. And we can also put c cubed, c squared, and c to the fifth together because they all share a c. And the reason we can move things around is because multiplication has a good property, which is called commutative property. And you can say, for example, I can、uh, switch this a cubed with、uh, four. We can switch them because it's multiplication between them. And then we can continue continue to switch four with c cubed, and then with uh, uh, with c cubed. And then we have a and a cubed together. And similarly, we can switch things to put all the c's together. So we're applying a property of communication called a commutative property.、Uh, we also use the associative property,、uh, which means when you do multiplication、uh, with, of three of them, you can、uh, say if you do two times three times four, you can multiply the first two to get six times four, twenty-four. Or you actually could multiply the last two to get twelve times four two. It's twenty four. That's called associative property. But、uh, because of these two properties, and、uh, we can easily move things around and、uh, to put the numbers together and put the ones with the same base together. So now let's multiply the numbers. Five times four, twenty times negative two, negative forty. A times a cubed. Now we have to use the first formula. In the first formula, if they have the same base, we keep the base a. See, we they have the same base a. We add exponents.、Um, notice that the exponent of a is not zero; it's one because we one copy of a. So we add one and three. We got four. Similarly, we have、uh, base c and three plus two plus five. That's gonna give us a ten. So we're using the first formula to do this question. This is formula one here, and what we use here is formula three. If there's a exponent multiplication in the base, distribute the exponent, and then for that part we use the formula two, power of power. So all these three formulas will be tested. Now the last problem doesn't have any multiplication in there. It's just three a minus two、uh, b. Uh, the next question, not the last one. We have one more after this. Plus four b, and minus five a, minus two b. Now to do this question, there are two ways. You could just 
do it in your head 3a minus 7a and then minus 5a but you have to be careful you have to take the minus sign into consideration and then you do negative 2b minus 4b minus negative 2b so that could be a little tricky it, it, we could make mistakes if you do everything in your head so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the princes first and then combine like terms there's not a number on the front of the princes i'm just going to put a one there so distribute the one to both of them 3a minus 2b distribute a negative one that will change the signs negative one times seven negative seven negative one times positive four negative four and negative one again so we're going to get negative 5a plus 2b because negative times positive is negative but negative times negative is positive and next we're going to find all the like terms to combine 3a negative 7a negative 5a negative 2b negative 4b and uh, positive 2b and 3 when we combine like terms we only work on the numbers in front of them so we're doing 3 minus 7 minus 5 that's negative 9 and negative 2 minus 4 negative 6 plus 2 it's negative 4b okay um, so that's the final answer for this one now the last problem it says subtract so we do need to pay a little bit of attention maybe before I do that last question we should take a look at the simple uh, math question subtract the 3 from 7 so what you need to think about is are we going to do 3 minus 7 or 7 minus 3 which one is correct so notice that subtract 3 from 7 that means you take 3 away from 7 so you have to start from 7 and take away of 3 minus 3 so this 3 minus 7 if you follow the order 3 minus 7 won't be right and it has to be 7 minus 3 so you got to do backwards 7 minus 3 so let's look at the problem it says subtract 2x squared minus 6x minus 14 from 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x minus 1. So similar to the example that I just gave you, uh, when you subtract something from something, you have to start from the from part. So we start, from, uh, start with the last one, which is 4x cubed minus 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x minus 1 put a parenthesis around it subtract the second uh, the first one 2x squared minus 6x minus 14 the reason we have to put parenthesis is because we have more than one term so when we subtract this one from the other we're subtracting the whole thing this whole thing entire thing from that entire thing so that means that means we have to keep the second one inside of parentheses to t subtract from there and if you don't put parentheses that would not, not be correct so now we're going to do something similar to what we just did like this example and put a one on the front of the parentheses to distribute so when we distribute a one to this it's not going to change anything so we get 4x cubed minus 5x x squared plus 6x minus 1 but when we distribute a negative 1 it's going to change all the signs to negative 2x squared plus 6x and the plus 14 it's negative times negative is positive negative times negative is positive now we combine like terms and we have 4x cubed that's the only one with the third power and for x squares we have these two which gives us negative 2, negative 5 minus 2, negative 7x squared. And then we have 6x squared, 6x plus 6x, that's a 12x. And then we have negative 1 plus 14, that's positive 15. And that would be the final answer. A, a correction here, negative 1 plus 14 is not a positive 1, so that we should get. 13 here not 15
so like doing 14 minus 1.